to live, live with, with no limits. limits. Hey, it is our first Woo! show. Our number first one. number one. Oh, I'm so glad that you were able to tune in with us. Yes. And, and we're just excited about it. Yes. yes. So excited. I said the word I always say. Excited. Ooh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's excited. Excited. Well, upcoming on today's show, we have Ignite Your Mind body and soul yes and we also have the what's on your, your mind, mind segment mm -hmm. one of our viewers wrote in and she wants to she no longer wants to be the work wifey the work wifey. the work wifey we're gonna help her out in yes, that we situation are. we're gonna help her so and then we also have the prayer line information yes it's coming mm -hmm. up at the end of january we'll have more information about that so stay tuned all right so, so excited so before we get started, we want to just share a little bit about ourselves. Just share our heart with you so you'll know where we're coming from. I can start. My name is Tina. I am, I've been married for 12, almost 12 years to a wonderful husband who's a pastor. We have our own church. I have my own business, my own home care business called Quality Assurance Home Care Services. And we also have a ministry, the IPC Movement Ministry, where we mentor teen girls and women. And just a little bit more about me. I just love to inspire. I love to encourage people. I love to push people towards their purpose and why they were called uh, from God and their calling and things of that nature. So you'll get a lot of that from me. A lot of love, a lot of support, and a lot of inspiration. Okay. Hey, everybody. I am Carla Lee, the baby of the group. Um, I am a mom, a wife. I have five children. I'm a professional hairstylist, and I just started my new company this year, um, Virtuous Glam Styling and Image Consulting. I'm so excited. Yay! Um, my passion in life is literally to make women over from the inside out. I love fashion. I love hair. I love all things beautiful, but I love to focus on the inner beauty also. Yes, so it's not just important. about being fly and being cute on the outside. You know, women need to understand that without inner beauty, it's all null and void. And I'm Rhonda King. Woo! <laughs> I am happily married for 14 years. Yes. Don't get it twisted. I'm still young. <laughs> I have a wonderful, loving, and supportive <laughs> husband. Um, I, also, I do also have, we have three children, and one of them is a teenager. So I'm going to need your prayers. <clears throat> um, I'm also in, uh, I'm in the mortgage industry. I have a successful career in the mortgage industry and I'm also an entrepreneur as well. All three of us are entrepreneurs. Um, I, I share a little bit of, with you about my business, but you'll have more information in spring when it'll launch my website. Um, my passion is to empower parents to build successful students. So, yes. so on this website, it'll be a one-stop shop for parents where you'll be able to go on that website, test your children's reading levels, mm -hmm. help them with their math skills. And then you'll also, one of the one of my the great things about this website, you will be also able to learn what your child learning language is. Mm. Right, because is they have love important. language. Yeah, they have the love yeah. language, but, but they also have language. a language. That's Everybody good. has their own learning language. Language, language, language. No one learns the same. So Very even true. siblings. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm a roller. In my spare time, I love to roll and travel. Oh, <laughs> so, hey, well, yeah, that's good. So that's just a little <laughs> bit about us. Um, you know, we just want to come on here. We want to be real. It's mm -hmm. not like a TV show where we just you know, so snooty up in the air. We just want to speak from our hearts on this yes. show. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you're able to get something out of it to better your life. Yes. yes. So next, we got the show. On this segment of our show, we love to do shout outs. Yes. We have so many amazing followers and yes. supporters. supporters. Facebook, oh my Instagram, God. Twitter. And we just want to shout out some of our favorite followers. This will be a regular part of our show, so, yes. you know, don't be alarmed. You will hear your name eventually. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so my person that I want to shout out is my little sister, um, Nikita <laughs> Joseph. Hey, go Nikita! Hey, Sneaky hey. Dink! Oh, Lord. <laughs> gonna kill Lord. Me. I love you. We thank you so much for your thank support you, on Facebook. Alright. And my 
person that I chose, her name is Uncommon Chick. And yes. she's subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hey, and Keisha. we just love you. She sent out a great <laughs> encouraging word in our comment section. Yes. So, again, we just want to say that we love you. And thanks for supporting us. And who I chose was Joanne Dye. Yes. yes. This woman was heaven sent. Yes, and we all was. started with her, with her yes, ministry. Yes. And that was, uh, we started with her, with her ministry, speaking to women. And yes. so, it's called the Plum Line Plum Ministry. Plum Line Ministry. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we want, she's always supporting us and yes. retweeting and yes. getting new followers. So Joanne Dad, woo! We love you, we girl. Love you. We love you. <laughs> all right, so now. Without further ado, we want to really get into these topics that yes. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Again, we hope that, um, hey, you want to get a notepad, take some notes. We really just want to ignite your mind, your body, and your spirit yes. Yes. on a level from what it, uh, just moving forward in 2013. So with that, we want to talk about how to ignite the mind. Mm -hmm. So you all have some ideas on that or mm -hmm. some conversation about that? Well, I know for me in 2013, I plan to just try some different things. Remember I was telling you that I'm thinking about taking up a painting class? Yeah, that would be really yes, good. Yes, Tina mm -hmm. bought my daughter um, this little paint set to make her own little jewelry box. And it was so funny because it was her gift, but I ended up doing most of the painting. So I figured, you know, it's, it was very relaxing and, you know, it just kind of pulled some creativity out of me. Since I'm a stylist, um, I'm somewhat of an artist, so I'm always looking for different places to draw, you know, creativity from. So I figure maybe taking a painting class. Ooh, I want to try good. something that was different. really yeah. good. I want to try something class. different, meet some new people, new, you know, mm -hmm. atmosphere mm -hmm. surrounding. Changing your atmosphere. So, yes. Now, I thought about with the mind piece, um, I know we go through so much, right? Your mind, all these thoughts are just in your mind, like over 6,000 thoughts are in your mind a day. And so... For me, I want to declutter my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how I do that is I do meditation. Mm -hmm. I um, listen to some meditation music. I um, just sit back and relax. I first I think about how God has kept me, how great he is in my life. Mm -hmm. And then I just relax and I breathe. And I begin to let go of all the negative things and just ask for uh, God to bring in peace and joy into my mind. Mm -hmm. Amen. So just decluttering your mind. Sometimes you can have so much going on, bills, kids, all these other what issues. Is, what, you remember when we were talking and you were, when you first started talking about meditation mm -hmm. and how many thoughts run through our mind? Something like 6,000 thoughts a day. A day. Mm -hmm. So wow. it is always good to declutter mm -hmm. and meditate. So I That's really good. like that. Yeah. That's really good. Um, and for me, one of the things that I've committed to doing for working on my mind, and I can start off, um, for the first of the year, I um, was working uh, for this, I was looking at this book, and I said that I'm going to read a book every month. And I started off with Battlefield of the Mind, Joyce Myers. I read this last year, but God led me to read it again this year. Mm -hmm. So um, this is a good read, and it's a new. She uh, rewrote it. Mm -hmm. So and I know that you guys probably have read this as well. It's a so great, it's book. a really great book, mm -hmm. yes. and this helps you again to declutter mm -hmm. your mind yes. and have your mind focusing on the right things. Mm -hmm. I'm really so. glad you decided to read that again. You know, sometimes you may feel like I've read this already, but it's good. If something has helped you and poured into you, mm -hmm. read really it good. again. Because mm -hmm. sometimes God will give you new revelations every time mm -hmm. you read it. That mm -hmm. is really true. And he mm -hmm. does. Yeah. And then I had just one more tidbit about that. It's just one thing for me, I noticed that I want to conquer and I want to do so much. But I have to remind myself to stay focused on one task at yes. hand That's so true. I can be effective. If you're trying to do so many things, you will be ineffective mm -hmm. with Quality all of them. Yes. So um, just really for me, just if I plan to do something one day, really focus in doing that. Then you'll feel like you're really achieving your goals, your tasks, and you're moving forward. So that that's a tidbit for me with mm -hmm. the mind as well. And then something that Joyce Meyer said that's in the book, um, she had you challenging questions for your mind, and I wrote down a few, and I wanted to share okay. it with you. So, come you know, on, maybe I can preacher. add come you on, guys. Preacher. You know, um, mm -hmm. and this is something for yourself. She talked about the danger in complaining. 
Ooh. You know, and for us, we don't, we try to not speak anything negative over mm-hmm. our lives or out mm-hmm. of our mouths, any idle, you know, because those things fall on idle grounds. And, mm-hmm. you know, but, and then she also challenged us to, how do you see yourself? Yes, that's a good mm-hmm. one. How do you see mm-hmm. yourself? That's why we are here to help you to create an image mm-hmm. that is so beyond that's living your life beyond mm-hmm. what you can think, what you can imagine right yes. now, what God yes. has in yes. store for you in your yes. life. Come on so now, you're preaching how good do you now. See come on, now. Come on yes, now. That's, that's what you want. That's somebody see somebody find my organ. I need my organ. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's but that's good, good. Ronda. I ain't just yeah. talking about this beautiful makeup that was done by Courtney B. I, <laughs> I'm just, how do you see yourself in the mirror every yeah, day? Yeah, that's good. Yes, you that's know, who good. are you? And then the After next the one, yeah. Gone. And After then the, the next one was the body. Okay, the body. so we got oh. the body. Okay, um, I work out. <laughs> well, I make it as a goal. Then I don't do it. <laughs> well, I start off fresh. Everybody start off fresh in yes. January. Mm. But how do you keep it going? How do you really, um, from a physical standpoint with your body, this year I want to be more healthy. Mm-hmm. So um, I've made a challenge. Carla and I have made a, a three-month challenge. And you'll see some of the video of us working out hard yes. and just trying to get some of this weight off because we just want to be healthy and fit. Yes. So, and that's a part. I mean, if you're healthy and fit, you can do better in your purpose. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can't be sickly, obese, or any of those things and yes. live out your purpose. Yes. So, um, and we have and you want to be healthy to be around, around for. for your kids. Mm-hmm. That's right. I can share a personal quick testimony. Um, and we'll have some before and after pictures for you. Mm-hmm. But I lost 130 pounds. Woo! I still have a few more to go. <laughs> But one thing that I do is no fried foods. That's a big no in my house. So no fried foods. It's including that fried rice you have? Well, in my house. Ooh. No fried Ooh. foods. Tell the truth. It's shame that down. <laughs> when I travel down to the city, <laughs> I gotta get some rice. I gotta put that on <laughs> Pentecost. And it's fried. Fried. <laughs> I'm just saying, but you're okay. gonna put me out there like that. <laughs> And does fried rice really count as fried food? It's grilled. It's grilled. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, it's not really yeah. fried. It's like it's not steam, deep fried. It's steamed it's in grease. It's, it's, it's steamed yes, in grease. Yes. Father, forgive us right okay. now. You know, <laughs> okay. and it has vegetables. Full of vegetables. <laughs> I get extra onions. <laughs> yeah. You know. All right. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, so and, yeah, and so with the body, also we. So that's the physical part, but then let's talk about Your spirit. spirit. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I think that we can all agree that this year we have we're definitely committed to getting more in the word, deeper in the word. Oh, Your yes. spirit man cannot mm-hmm. survive without the word of God, just without like our bodies. Exactly, without well. You know, mm-hmm. the word of God takes you yeah. there. Just like our bodies survive on food, your spirit man survives on the word of God. Feeding your spirit man is what's going to keep you healthy spiritually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, just on one of the recent posts that I saw from a Facebook friend, she she says a point where she wants to start her life brand new and she wants to get a relationship with God. She wants to leave the negative people. And she was saying, you know, where do I start? And really, she started because she began to confess yes. those things. Yes. Yes. And and then with the spirit, what I say when it comes to getting to know God, a lot of I get a lot of questions like, well, how do you get to know him? And the first thing they say is, uh, you got to go to church, right? Mm-hmm. And my thing is, church is good because you need to fellowship among the saints. Mm-hmm. And you also need, that's where you will learn more about the word of God. Mm-hmm. They'll be able to break it down for you and it, it becomes applicable to your life. Yes. But that's not really the start. The yeah. start is just with you mm-hmm. and God. Mm-hmm. And my thing you have is, to have a personal relationship. I'm going to be really transparent, which I, that's the whole goal of this show because yes. we, we are not perfect. No, I, I don't know all the answers, but this is how I got started with the closer relationship with God. I journaled, I wrote just how I felt, but what I did was I titled it or, uh, the, the heading was dear God. So it was a journal, but it was like a conversation with God. Mm -hmm. It was just all my flaws and everything else. And then number two, 
a lot of people say, well, the Bible is boring or I, I don't know where to read it or I can't understand it. But first of all, start speaking that God will allow you to understand, understand. it and he will yeah, break it down for you. But we all have a cell phone somewhere near and dear. I got one right up under near my feet. And <laughs> it, there's a Bible app on it. And just pull up the Bible app. And what I do at night is I just listen to that. Just like you listen to music, mm -hmm. watch YouTube videos. Take about 15 minutes of your time and just listen listen to the Bible. It's an audio and version. And listen to uh, Bible mm -hmm. Is. Yeah, that's a that's good a one more too. dramatic version. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you'll get all the... And thou's, you know. And so, and then you'll be able to understand it a little bit better. Because there's a lot yeah, of different people. Yeah, to put you in that... Yeah, it's going to yeah. put you in that scenery and you mm -hmm. think you're there with Noah on the ark, you know. <laughs> well, why don't think you be able to be on the ark? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, maybe the last supper. Oh, okay, you okay. Know, okay. Well, you know, but, you know, one time Tina fell asleep on <laughs> Revelation. <laughs> and I did. And there was, they was, vroom, and she <laughs> thought she was burning. Yeah. But she really no. <laughs> yeah, I, I really did. I mean, but so it is a really good version of mm -hmm. Bible is. But don't fall asleep on Revelation. Or don't Daniel. do it. You think it's, <laughs> the world is coming? Real, it's coming to an end, but not yet. But well, anyway, no man knows the, the day or, or the, the hour. hour. But I know one thing: it wasn't December twenty first. <laughs> Hello, church. Hello, church. It's quiet in here. Ah. All right. So those are just a few tidbits for us. Um, and we hope you we started you thinking about how you can ignite your yes. own mind, body, and spirit. And you know what? Write mm -hmm. in to us and tell us. Give us your testimony. Yeah, how, how did you do it? Yeah. Because like I said, we want to share your stories as well. You That's know? right. It's not all about us. Mm -hmm. It's not. So, All right. Our next segment is What's on Your Mind? Ooh. So we had a viewer to write in. Yes, yes. And oh I'm going to read. Yes. You said this was juicy. This is kind <laughs> of juicy, but, you know, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. Hey, okay. I'm a 26-year-old, very attractive woman, woman with no kids. I've been involved with a co-worker of mine. He's everything that I want in a man. He's my soulmate. We have lunch together every day, and he usually cooks for me. Everyone at work calls me his work wifey, and he seems to love it because he never stops them. At lunch, we talk about everything. He tells me about all his problems and how he wants out of his current relationship with his wife. With his wife? With his wife. Okay. Help me because I feel that... I can make a really great go of this relationship and he can leave his wife. I know that I'm better for him. Please help me because, oh wait a minute, I'm sorry. Please help me because I think we would be great together. I pray about this every night and I still have not gotten an answer. Help. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> there's three married you women. You wrote into couch. three married women. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, honey. And we're going to help you today. Mm -hmm. But you know, starting off, you yeah. know, um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> starting off, we are women. Mm -hmm. So we identify with the woman yes. and mm -hmm. what she's feeling in her heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, but. <laughs> The Bible says, what two God has joined together, let no, no man, man put as under. No man. Honey, boo, no boo, man or woman. <laughs> Honey, poo, 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 poo. You can't do that. It's not in God's order. And you know what? So, what's, this starts out, and I was researching, and I've seen a lot of people, and I've been in corporate America for a long time, so you see the people going to lunch together yes. and you know that they're married mm -hmm. and you know it's not right and he's not, not your man and he's not your soulmate because just he is tied it. to somebody just else. tell her the truth come on you need to move on you need to be praying to ask god for forgiveness yes mm -hmm. don't give the yeah. enemy that type of room in your life yes and just on a a base level to me um the love that you're seeking for. And just, if you go back 
to your past history and things like that. Kind of backtrack mm -hmm. and see what will make you allow yourself to come in second mm -hmm. for somebody yes. to allow yourself to just Desiring. take uh, a married man. Yeah, a married mm -hmm. man and things like and that. And really dig deep with that. Um, mm -hmm. And single, right. no kids, twenty six, yeah, and you right. got somebody else, man. Right. Yeah. God and has a, and of, in store of course, for he's filling a void. Uh -huh. Yes. So you have to get to what is that void? Yes. And, and once you get that taken care of, I believe, and you focus and do right, because you mentioned also that she prays about it. Prays about it. Yes. yes. People always bring God up in it. One thing I am glad that she didn't write into the strawberry letter. <laughs> <laughs> with Steve Harvey because it wouldn't have been pretty. Yeah. Well, my <laughs> no, I'm thing just, is, I'm just when kidding. you pray about something, this is just my opinion, so you can comment if you like, but you shouldn't be praying for a sin. Yeah. Yes. Um, my thing is you should be keep praying for God to just keep your mind. Yes. We've yeah. all been in that situation. When I dated and I was cheating, I did pray. I prayed that God took that desire away, even though I was in that situation. So you still can pray, but don't pray for the sin to, to continue to happen and yes. manifest and yes. you know continue. grow. So I, in the same way, mm -hmm. this man is sitting here talking to you every day about his problems. Do you think if you guys were together, he wouldn't leave you for the next woman the same yes. way he left his wife? You want a Split man? Two seconds gone. You want a man who's gonna leave his wife and kids? For you. Mm. In addition to that, because you are a grown adult and you're going to yeah. make your own decisions. Mm -hmm. Let's say he does leave. Are you really wanting all that baggage that's going to come into that relationship? Yeah, that's a lot of baggage. Children, child support, alimony. Yeah. By the time y'all done, you get nothing but a happy meal. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. You forgot about the wife because she's going to come over there. Well, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> But it ain't gonna be pretty. <laughs> Especially if she from the hood. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not gonna be pretty once the wife finds out. Yeah, yeah but I just want to encourage you because you shared your heart with us yes. and we're laughing and having fun in between of hopefully giving you some important points. Yes. Yes. Um that we inspire you to really look at yourself. Look that at the is. void that's in your you know life. What? I know that, that you really, deserve better. That really goes back to the question that I asked you at the beginning. Mm -hmm. In the mind. Looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking, who am that's I? That's right. right. What, that, I, that I have to have another woman's man. Yes. yes. Where is your self-love? Yes. Because if you love yourself, you wouldn't want anybody's, anybody's leftovers. Mm -hmm. That's right. Seconds. And I'm sure you're, you're, you're a beautiful person. I'm sure that you have a beautiful spirit. Just take that and derail it and just focus on you. If you haven't, if a positive man isn't around, just to have a piece of man, that's not good enough. So yeah. just focus on you. Sometimes God will separate you, want you to be by yourself. You don't have to have a man. He will want you to be by yourself to get your attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. So just sat down somewhere. Yes. I did say sat down. Sat down. But sat down. <laughs> just focus somewhere. on you. Just That's focus right. on you. And I assure you, once you start focusing on you, start thinking about how you can yes. make yourself better, how you deserve better, what true love is, is which right. is another topic we're going to be talking about. I think everything will be okay for you. Yes. And really allow is. God to prepare you as a wife yes. and not a mistress. Yes. That's good. That was great. That's, That's good. Something to end mm -hmm. up. While you're taking that alone time with God, mm -hmm. he's going to mold you and prep you for somebody's wife, not yes. somebody's side piece. Oh, yeah. good, good. All right. So, well, we do have some, some, some tips, okay? And these tips are to know... What, what are the tips about? Tell us the tips. <laughs> These <Yeah>. tips. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> That's okay. Well, it's all right. Yeah. Moving right along. <laughs> we have prayer information. Mm -hmm. The prayer line. Woo yes. Our first prayer session Woo! is going to be January the 29th. At 9 p.m. Yes. We're going to have the um, number 
for you at the bottom of the screen. We're also going to tweet it. We're going to Facebook it. Yes. We're going to put it on our call IPC in. page. Call in. And we want you to call in with your prayer requests. And again, we're going to pray over your lives mm -hmm. and we're going to touch and agree and intercede for you. Yes. And that is our desire. We're taking so this very seriously. We're taking this very yes. serious because we are, we want things to change and turn around. And we mm -hmm. really want the young lady who just wrote um, into us, we want you to call in. Please. Please, well, please, please, we want to talk to you personally. We want to talk to you. We want to pray over your life, and mm -hmm. we want to see a change for 2013 right. in her life. Yeah, so, that's great. We're excited about that. It'll be Tuesday, January the 29th. All right, at 9 p.m. So that'll give them time to put their kids to sleep, come yes, home, honey. and get on that prayer line right before you go to bed. Yes, honey, I'm putting mine in the bed at eight. <laughs> so get down on. Well, they might not be sleeping. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. All righty. Um, I so forgot. For our next yeah. show. Rhonda, tell, <laughs> us, tell us what's going on on the next show. Well, our next show, we're going to have... A, it's going to be around Valentine's Day, so it's going to be centered around love. Right. The title, we've titled right. it, The Beauty of Agape Love. The Don't Beauty of Agape Love. Mm -hmm. We're going to go over our tips to know if you're in a relationship or not, yes. a real relationship. A right. real relationship. We're going to talk about what real love is, what true agape love is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned, you all. Thanks again for joining us on our first show. Yay. We probably had a lot of bloops and blunders <laughs> and whatever else. That's how okay. you enjoy This is the real us. <laughs> real. This That's is right. the real deal. And we just hope that, again, we can inspire you. So stay tuned to our next show. Like they said, it's about love. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up and yes. everything. So we want to make sure that you got all that on deck. So until then, you all stay prayed up and be blessed. Be Bye. blessed. Bye. Bye. Woo!